Hi Virgo, it's Zahara Stars with Illum Astrology and Tarot doing your mid-month update reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. This is just for until the end of the month. Um, so it's a little bit shorter than usual. Check out my overall reading for you guys that I did for the whole month if you haven't already. Also, please subscribe. But if you do, please click the bell because you won't get notified of my uploads as they come. You have to click the bell. I have to tell everybody that because they've been saying they haven't been getting notifications. I'll be doing a love reading after this one. So if you guys want to get notified of that one, those ones are specific. I use my animal tarot to do those. All right, so let's get your mid-month update for Virgos. Please give me the most accurate moon message for Virgos. So over the next two weeks, communication is going to be key. This is the card of Gemini. Gemini is maybe playing a role in something for you guys over the next two weeks, but otherwise getting information to and from, networking, communicating is going to be a playing a role over the next two weeks. What else for Virgo? A win-win outcast is in a win-win outcome is in the forecast. This means whatever situation that you've been kind of like, I don't know if it's going to work out. I don't know whatever. This is telling you that there's a win-win situation coming up in the next two weeks for however that resonates with you. Remember, you're all involved in different situations. You're not involved in exactly the same situations and the same people. Thank God. All right, Virgo, and then we got be bold and make the first move. Whatever this may re be regarding for you guys. What is it? Luck favors the bold. Luck favors the bold. Be bold and make the first move. If that's regarding a love interest, a person of interest, whatever. And then we got your dreams need a practical plan, Taurus. These are just messages overall for the next, um, until the end of the month, okay? Of course, as always, they're general. They could go longer now let's take a look and see what the tarot has to say for virgo what messages do we have for virgo until the end of the month all right virgo we got a water sign person this is a cancer scorpio or pisces okay sun moon or rising or it could be you if your rising sign is in water or moon what else This person is playing a big role in something. We got the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you may be receiving some money, an inheritance, or money. Okay. Um, I'm not sure of the of of where this money is coming from, but it definitely is going to emotionally satisfy you in some way. Some of you, it's a payout of some sort, an inheritance, um, a new job. However, it resonates with you, but I see big money coming in and you feeling pretty emotionally good about it. Some of you, it could be a water sign that's offering you this new job or security. So we got the Empress next. This is a woman that's got it all. This is a mother figure for some of you. Some of you could be receiving an inheritance from your mother. Some of you, this could be a boss that's giving you a raise. Some of you, this could be you. Tell me more. Take it how it resonates. We got the three of cups in the reverse was how it came up. So some of you may have had some sort of disappointment. Um something you were hoping for didn't come through okay and some of you it's regarding this empress woman which could be a boss or mother figure or something maybe you're waiting for an apology or maybe let's see yeah it's definitely some sort of heartache or betrayal that you guys have been through or just heart pain some of you, if this empress is you, you've really been you've really been recently hurt about something, okay? And it's definitely hasn't made you happy. This is the card of hoping for something that didn't work out. Some of you, this could be with a mother figure that disappointed you and let you down. Some of you, this is you feeling this way. Some of you have gone through something and yeah. 
and we got the page of cups some of you it's regarding a love interest some of you regarding emotional expression of some sort and others of you have an emotional expression coming through until the end of the month and we got an Aquarius Libra or Gemini coming through on this emotional expression so it looks like you might be getting a message of somebody from an Aquarius Libra or Gemini some of you have been hurt by this person or some of you experience heartache over this person and then we got the tower a sudden unexpected event occurring that crumbles down everything okay so it's an ending which could potentially lead to a new beginning to rebuild okay but some of you may have had an unexpected event occur with this Aquarius Libra or Gemini it's coming in with them and it was unexpected and then we got the four of cups which is definitely feeling sad about something feeling like your cup spilled over feeling emotional feeling as if there's nothing else that you want but this person or this situation or this one or you were waiting for some good news coming through on this tower moment with this person wow and now you're just reflecting on the times spent or on on something and and feeling wow virgo i'm sorry for those of you going through that and then we got the hangman which is feeling like you don't know what to do about something feeling like you can't move about something looking at everything from every perspective but getting answers and illumination as a result but feeling a little stuck in and thinking things and then we got the moon card which could be about depression or feeling a little sad or definitely feeling confused uncertain of the future definitely reflecting on that feeling the clouds have come over feeling unclear feeling a little lost some of you depressed and then we got the two of swords next which is not knowing how to move forward what to do what next move to make wow virgos you're right reading is heavy please tell me but we do have awesome news coming through on that which is a hope and a wish being fulfilled feeling like your cups are getting restored and refilled this is the card about having more than enough to take care of whatever you need it's not necessarily emotional i mean it is emotional it's a nine of cups meaning support love emotional support will be coming in a, in abundance but also feeling like you're getting feeling as if you're emotionally in a better place towards the end of the month And then we got the lover's card in reverse, which is typically about a relationship, a close partnership, or something, a divine meeting of two people where it's on hold, it's experiencing trouble, or it's in separation. So it this for a lot of you, this is regarding a love connection. Others of you, it could be any connection, like friend, family member, or whatnot. But you're going to be getting a lot of communication, a lot of information back and forth, a lot of communicating back and forth, okay? Some of you, I feel like you have a very strong possibility of meeting your love interest, but it might be next month. And you'll be communicating a lot for those of you that are single and looking, okay? But otherwise, I just see a lot of communication going back and forth, a lot of messages back and forth coming through for you, Virgos. Let's see if I have any love messages for you guys. Do you have any messages for Virgo? The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. See how these messages resonate with you, okay?
Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. So always coming from a heart space, always focusing on love, it just makes you feel better. Um, and those that love you and those that are there for you. And then we got consider your foundation. You're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Now, these aren't gonna resonate with all of you, but these are just the messages that could be coming out with you, coming could be resonating with some of you. And then we have, have patience. Love is patience, love is kind, always. All right, Virgo, I'm sorry this was a, a little heavy reading. I hope this helps you in some way. Um, I am gonna be doing a love reading for those of you that are involved with somebody specifically, and I use my animal tarot deck for those. <clears throat> and I clarify with Brian Froud next, um, like your person of interest reading. If you're interested in that, don't forget to click the bell to get notified of my uploads as they come. This is just a short two-week update or end-of-the-month thing. Um, check out the overall for the whole month for you guys if this doesn't resonate with you at all, and hopefully it doesn't. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you guys positive energy. Lots of love for all the best, as always.